welcome first very basic and direct question whether pda technical report number 26 allow for repeat filter integrity test pds technical report number 26 does not clearly prohibit repeat testing but it advises against its routine use after a failure it allows for repeat testing only in specific cases where a clear documented investigation supports it What should be the action plan in case of filter integrity test failure as per PDS technical report number 26? If the investigation confirms that the filter is intact and the failure was due to an extraneous factor, a repeat test may be permissible. If the filter cannot pass a repeat test, the batch must be considered compromised and should not be released. Documentation of the failure investigation and any retesting must be thorough and compliant with regulatory expectations what good practices can be followed to avoid false failures ensure proper test setup and calibration of the integrity test equipment train operators to avoid handling errors and validate the integrity test method and its applicability to the specific filter and process What investigation steps should be followed in case of filter integrity test failure? Make sure the right integrity test has been chosen and correct test settings are being used. Verify that the proper wetting liquid is being used. Ensure that there are no leaks in the testing system and confirm that the process temperatures are within the allowed range during testing. Check that the equipment is correctly calibrated and make sure the test setup is properly assembled and working correctly. Verify that the right filter has been installed. Revet the filter following the manufacturer's instruction and repeat the test. If the filter integrity test fails again, after completing these steps, the filter does not pass the test. What is impact on filtered batch in case post-use filter integrity test fails? A failed integrity test after use typically means the product batch cannot be released unless additional stability assurance testing confirms the batch safety. What are the filter related issues that can cause filter integrity test failure? Filter damage, incorrect wetting, clogging or falling and wrong filter type are the important filter related causes that can cause filter integrity test failure. Refer below table for more details. What are the filter setup issues and process conditions that can cause filter integrity test failure? Leaks in the system, incorrect test parameters, faulty equipment and improper installation are the test setup related issues that can cause filter integrity test failure. Whereas temperature variations and chemical exposure are the process conditions that can cause filter integrity test failure. In which cases repeat filter integrity test is allowed? Retesting is allowed only if the failure is attributed to the non-filter related issues example equipment malfunction or operator error and the investigation supports this conclusion. Very important question what guidance is provided in pharmaceutical guidelines about filter integrity test failure. First guideline FDS guidance for industry. This guideline emphasizes on or focus on root cause analysis, thorough investigation and documentation of integrity test failures. Second guideline UGMP Annex 1. This guideline requires immediate investigation of filter failure. Third guideline PDS technical report number 26. This guideline allows for repeat testing only if justified by clear evidence of external errors. Fourth guideline WHO technical report series. According to this guideline any integrity test failure necessitates a documented investigation with actions ensuring product safety. Fifth, very important guideline ISO 13408-2. According to this guideline, any integrity test failure must lead to documented investigation and corrective action to prevent repeat occurrence. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.